example, parkour was actually developed in um, France at first to train the French military to help them in like an army and stuff. It actually came from a word core called um, parkour ear, which means to, to go over or to go through. That's pretty much how the Americanized version of the sport came to be. Parkour is getting from point A to point B in the easiest, most efficient way possible by jumping, flipping, and vaulting over, under, through, and around obstacles. Um, I've honestly thought about that a lot. When you look at people like um, David Bell, who are in their 50s now and are still doing two-story roof gaps and stuff, that makes me feel very comfortable in my old age. I mean, I, I see a lot of people in their 40s, even 50s, doing parkour for a long time. So I'll do it until I literally cannot do it anymore. <laughs> parkour for about a year now. I am planning to be doing it for as long as I can, literally until I'm old and not able to move anymore pretty much. I would be doing it till then. Um that's a little bit of more complicated story. I mean I'd always been doing little boyish things, jumping over fences and stuff like that, but I hadn't actually come to terms with what it was called until I met this kid, Garrett Field, who introduced me to all the terminology and stuff like that, and that was probably back in 2004, 2005. So that was when I re actually realized that I was doing a sport and not just running around um, breaking stuff. <laughs> You could really call this a parkour trip, but really the main draw for me with parkour is just the airtime. I mean, with all the flips that I do and stuff, I really, really enjoy just dropping, just taking airtime. That's that's what I do with you. I, I just love jumping. I find that a lot more of the a lot more of the spirit of parkour helps with a lot of just regular things you have to get over. I mean, it's very cliche when people say overcoming oh, obstacles. So I don't really want to say that, but um, parkour it makes you it makes you a little bit more mature. I see a lot of kids who are 13, 14 years old that are just trying to become you know young men already, and I just feel like a lot of sports don't really help that kind of progression. But I mean, there's a lot of spirituality in parkour. I mean, I see so many people get heavy, heavy into Buddhism and stuff like that. It just ties in with the terminology and just the philosophy of parkour so well. What makes parkour different from other sports? I think parkour is different from other sports because other sports you're probably either going to be really just training in one central place or doing the same thing over and over again. Like in football, basketball, you have plays. In parkour, you have free creativity to do anything you want, and you're not just training in a gym. You can go train outside. You can train anywhere, anywhere at all. You can go, and if you just train there, it's a really great thing about parkour is that it doesn't matter where you are as long as you just have the will to do it. You have the guts to do it. You can just do it anywhere, basically. I think that's something that really separates parkour from like any kind of sport at all. You're not just doing the same thing over and over again. You can be creative with it. You can be spontaneous. It can be anything at all. And I think that makes parkour a lot different than maybe other sports for your flipping and stuff too. I think that parkour has the uniqueness to it that it's like no other sport out there. Also, I think that um, the fact that you're out, you're doing anything. You can dream of so much crazy stuff. You can do flipping off of anything. You can uh, do amazing things out there. I think that's that's something really, really um, amazing about parkour, and that that's something special that parkour has that maybe other sports don't really have.
Let's go! Yeah! For those of you that wanna know what we're all about It's like this, yo! This is 10% luck, 20% skill 15% concentrated power of will 5% pleasure, 50% Doesn't need his name up in lights He just wants to be heard Whether it's the beat of the mic He feels so unlike everybody else alone In spite of the fact that some people still think that they know But no, he knows the code It's not about the salary It's all about reality and making some noise Making a story Making sure his click stays up That means when he puts it down Tax picking it up It was set clear cause Ryder was ill Who would have thought he'd be the one to set the West in flames And I heard 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will, 5% pleasure, 50% pain, and 100% reason to remember the name. 10% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power of will, 5% pleasure, 50% pain, and 100% reason to remember the name. 10% luck, 20% skill, 15%.